Hi guys, I wanted to talk today a little bit about creativity and creating things, making art, making music, making screenplays, stories, whatever it is. Um, not necessarily creativity just within the context of creating artwork, but creativity within your life, the way you hold yourself, the way you approach people. Um, creativity meaning the 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 manner in which you approach different tasks and that mindset that allows you to see problems as simply simply that just a small problem to be overcome rather than an obstacle that is something that's going to stop you from from creating at all so i i i hesitate to say i suffer from writer's block because part of me thinks it's a myth um, either you're writing or you're not and it's as simple as that either you're writing something or you're not so when I'm not writing I'm often thinking about writing I'm often sat there thinking what can I write how can I make it perfect how can I make the most perfect beautiful well-written well-rounded story uh, now of course this is uh, crippling to my uh, my output because Nothing's going to be perfect. Nothing can be perfect the first time going. You know, it's not, it's just not, it's not what you should be aiming for. It's not what you should be aiming for. Like if you shout out perfect writing straight away first time, then you'd be, you'd be a god. You'd be, you'd be, you know, some, some sort of complete genius and complete utter savant in writing. But that's not the case for 99% of us. You know, for the, for the for the most part, we need to work at it. We need to write down things. We need to let it be shit, let it be rubbish, let it be pants, let it be embarrassing. No one has to read it, and then give ourselves the freedom to to come back and edit it and make it better. That's where the real gold is in rewriting. Now, this is a lesson that I've had to learn very very uh, well it, I'm stubborn so it's taken me a long time to, to sort of get that to get that down to realize that oh actually you don't need it to be perfect first time round. it can just be a load of rubbish a load of garbage a load of waffling trifle and then you can make it better so that it, that's more of a note to myself really you know when I when I do these videos when I when I talk about these things they're they're mostly notes to myself so just you know be aware of that 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 you know these videos are mainly mainly there to to remind me to to keep keep focused on certain things and to keep my keep the dream alive because i love creativity i love making art i love making stories um, and that's my goal in in uh, as a, as a creative is to help people to create their their artwork to collaborate with great artists to help tell stories and so uh, to keep that dream alive I need to be creating every single day I want to be you know making things I want to be making new connections I want to be reaching out to creatives online I want to be um, yeah just all around being creative and I think that 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 mindset when you get yourself into that mindset it becomes quite it becomes part of who you are and so you're you become a more creative individual it's problems people come up to you with are e more easily solved because you're you're utilizing a growth mindset you know you, you're not thinking i know everything you know whatever's unknown is not worth my time you know that's kind of the opposite of what we want to we want to foster we want to foster that the known is not enough we we need to step into the unknown we need to brave what we don't know in order to come back with the treasure and so whatever it is you're doing whether it be writing whether it be painting whether it be knitting whether it be coloring in um approach the practice with as clear a mind as possible so before you before you do what you do stop take a breath maybe say a prayer say your mantra whatever it is and clear your mind and then go for it then go for it because all great creation comes from that place of no mind you know whether artists know it or not I think it was Eckhart Tolle who said whether artists know it or not they all create from that place of no mind and so we want to we want to empty ourselves a little bit and just 
I do apologise, there's a cat, but he's completely, there's a bird and a cat, but the cat's completely ignoring the bird. The bird looks like he's about to harass the cat, even. Oh, very interesting. Anyway, I've lost my train of thought, but that's the point, you know, let's, let's, let's start creating more, let's, uh, let's, let's clear our minds, let's, let's hold the world up again, because uh, as we've seen during these corona times, the world is leaning on artists um, for their entertainment to keep them sane. So let's all let's all rediscover the artists within. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.